reaching. I'm always reaching for something unattainable for my grasp. Lai Lai! Huh? Hey, Lai Lai! Guess who made the lacrosse team? Corey, that's amazing! I knew you could do it! I'm so proud of you! Congratulations! <laughs> Thanks, Bestie! But the thing is, practices are held right after school, so we can't walk home together anymore. Such a bummer. <laughs> it's okay, we can still do homework together after your practices. Promise? <laughs> I promise. <laughs> That's great, because I'm totally close to failing algebra right now. Ugh, Cory. Hey, Dynamic Duo. Are you guys ready to go? Uh, hi, Sean. Cory, did you forget your bag again? Jeez, you're such a dunce. Hey, show some respect. For your information, this dunce just made lacrosse team. Seriously? Congrats, Brett. Keep it up and you might be good enough for the high school team. I am good enough. Don't look down on us just because we're middle schoolers, Sean. Anyway, I have practice after school from now on, so you don't have to walk me home anymore. Oh, is that so? Well, what about Lyra? Who's going to see her home? <laughs> I'm fine going on my own. It's no problem. <sighs> mm. But then I won't have anybody to walk with. <sighs> Oh, uh, um, uh, I'm okay with walking together, too. Okay, that's a relief. Prior to that day, I've never spent time around Sean unless I was with Corey. I suspected he probably only felt obligated to look after his little sister's best friend. But like any friendship or relationship, everything starts off as a tiny sprout. Or so my grandma says. If you neglect, a will eventually wither. But when nurtured and cared for properly, so then, I was talking to my granny about this. Huh. Is that so? Sean! See? Isn't this fun? Slow down! I can go even faster, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it will bloom into something special. Safety first. <laughs> Sean. Hmm? What's that book you have there? This? It's called The Odyssey. Apparently, it was written forever ago. I had to read it for an assignment, but it was more interesting than I thought. What's it about, exactly? A great tale of suffering. Oh, it sounds lugubrious. Where did you learn a word like that? But it's an amazing story, actually. A hero lost at sea, and facing adversity, temptation, and sacrifice, all for the sake of returning home to his wife. The best part of it all, is that he never loses sight of who he is. Let me jot the title down real quick so I can read it too. So organized. And do you always put everything on a checklist? Yeah. Writing stuff down helps maintain my mental to-do list and prevents me from forgetting. I literally put sticky notes everywhere and it drives my granny crazy. Hmm. Huh. Hey, Lyra? Hmm? Can I make a confession? You see, the truth is... I actually really envy you. You've really grown up for your age, you know? I'm older than you, but you probably have a better reign on life than I do. My mom really puts a lot of responsibility on me since I'm the oldest, especially since Dad is hardly around either. I'm going to have a little brother soon. Mom's due in about a month from now. She'll really need my help around the house. Though, sometimes I wish I had more freedom to do what I want. Like, how Cory has lacrosse, I guess. Never really had the chance to indulge in those kind of things for myself. But then again, maybe I'm just being immature. I wish I could approach things in a mature way like you always seem to do. Ugh, I'm rambling off. I probably sound really stupid, right? <laughs> no, I don't think it's stupid at all. If that's how you feel, it's important, isn't it? Sean, the only family I have is my grandmother. She's a really strong woman, and I've never been responsible over anyone but myself. You, on the other hand, chose to sacrifice your time for your family and those you care about. You're not just the hero of your own story, but for other people's stories as well. Including mine. <laughs> That's so you, Lar. As expected. You always know just what to say. Thanks, Lyra. I think it was somewhere around that time an eternal spring had blossomed into my heart. But despite what Sean had told me, 
I'll admit that I did something very childish that very same day. When I came back home to the shop, I noticed a single flower had strayed from its batch, left to wilt on the floor. Hmm. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. I was so caught up in my daydreaming I hadn't realized I destroyed something that should not have been tampered with. Something that was fine as it was. Something special. Oh gosh. Uh, because little did I know that those silly childish fantasies of mine huh, <laughs> would eventually lead me to the end of everything I thought I knew. Okay, okay! Are you listening? Cause I'm gonna talk you a storm here! I should take off my jumper because it's so warm! Ah, oh, so warm! I'm going to die of the heat! Do not die of the heat! That'll be bad. Okay. I think I have somewhat warmed my voice up properly, and I am ready to start again. <clears throat> but like any friendship or relationship, everything starts off as a tiny sprout. Ooh, Skype. <laughs> if you neglect or smother it, it will wither into... Let me drop the data. My foot is really numb right now. Oh my god, I can't feel my thumb. I mean thumb, I mean foot. <laughs> when I came back home to... Something that's fine with... <laughs> okay. My mom really puts a lot of responsibility... Uh... I wish I could approach things and mature while I... I cannot do... Do 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 Having a lot of energy! I need more energy! Come on! Let's get that energy! Come on! Ener